Hello Warriors! Dragon Ball Daima is amazing. Everything happening in the anime is supporting my theories about the connections being woven between Dragon Ball Daima and Dragon Ball Super. Especially when we talk about the various races being introduced, along with the mysteries surrounding Zalama and everything related to this legendary figure in the Dragon Balls. Could Episode 4 of Dragon Ball Daima finally have revealed the origin of Beerus? Is Neva really Zalama? Curious? Well, let's explore all that and much more in today's video. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, alright? Let's go! Now, Warriors, ever since Dragon Ball Daima was announced, I mentioned that there was a chance this new anime would introduce many exciting elements and reveal a whole background on the races, stories, and events we saw in Dragon Ball Super. And, just as I expected, it seems that Akira Sensei, may he rest in peace, is gifting us with several references and possible revelations about the future of Dragon Ball Super. One of these potential revelations might be about the origin of the God of Destruction, Beerus. In the video covering the second episode, where I also analyzed the entire opening, I said this. We also see a Minotaur in the Purple Kitten race. That's fascinating. In the initial concept of the Dragon Ball universe, the Makai world was at the bottom of the map. When Dragon Ball Super introduced the 12 universes, many imagined that each universe would have its own Makai. However, from the looks of it, Makai is not directly connected to the 12 universes. This would explain how there could be similar inhabitants in universes 6 and 7, such as Beerus Race. Then in the video on the third episode, I reinforced the idea that Dragon Ball Daima consistently shows us characters that reference those we've seen throughout the Dragon Ball Saga, from classic Dragon Ball all the way to Dragon Ball Super. And here, once again, I want to highlight my theory that there's only one demon realm for all 12 universes since we see several familiar figures here. In the previous episode, we saw those purple cats, and now we see some dog or wolf-like demons. Identical to the ones we saw in the Tournament of Power. A special mention goes to a demon who looks almost identical to Drum and Tambourine, the monsters Piccolo Daimau spat out in classic Dragon Ball. Anyway. And now, in Episode 4, we saw these soldiers who, to me, are clearly a reference to Beerus and his brother or even Dispo. Sure, some might say their faces are different, but I wouldn't get too hung up on that small detail. Anyway. To me, the most interesting point of Episode 4 is precisely Glorio's statement about the Dragon Balls and how those three Dragon Balls are known as the original Dragon Balls, the first of all existence. Glorio's words align perfectly with my theory about Neva and Zalama, which I discussed in the video on the third episode of Dragon Ball Daima. Check it out. We believe Zalama will finally make his appearance in Dragon Ball Daima. And the way it will happen will be through the old Namekian. Could it be that Zalama will actually appear? Could Neva be Zalama himself? Or is Zalama the dragon inside the three Dragon Balls created by Neva? Let's analyze. Well, Zalama is one of the most mysterious characters in the entire Dragon Ball saga. After all, he was only mentioned but never appeared. It's said that he was the creator of the Super Dragon Balls, and because of that, it's believed that Zalama is a Namekian. But now that we've discovered that Namekians are actually demons who fled from the Makai, and that Neva is the last and one of the oldest Namekians in history, he probably knows about Zalama, met him, or perhaps he, Neva, is Zalama. First, because he is the creator of the Dragon Balls of the Makai. As we know, to create the Dragon Balls, a Namekian must be very powerful and possess great wisdom as well as special abilities. Second, because we saw Neva restore Earth's Dragon Balls back to their normal state, something we've never seen any other Namekian do before, which could prove that Neva is indeed wiser, more skilled, and consequently more powerful than the other Grand Elders. And lastly, we have to remember that Neva created the Dragon Balls of the Makai, which are only three, while the rule has always been seven. And not only that, he created extremely powerful beings to protect them. So, if he only needs three Dragon Balls instead of seven, it could indicate that he needs fewer Dragon Balls to do the same as the other Grand Elders. 
Well, there are those who believe that Zalama is actually the primordial dragon and that he may be sealed within those three dragon balls, while others believe that Zalama actually took over Neva's body and created those dragon balls to protect his spirit and live forever. However, I believe that Neva is either Zalama's disciple or predecessor, just as the Grand Elder Guru was to Dend. And that's why Neva is so powerful. So, warriors. What I'm saying here is that we might be close to witnessing the truth about Zalama and also about who Beerus, the god of destruction, truly is. But now I want to know your opinion on everything we covered in today's video. And if you've made it this far, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next videos.